Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Sales Remastered. My name is Daniel, and I'm your host. And in this episode, I spark it off with celebrating a very special day for me, not only for me, but for you as well. As you know, today is November 21st, 2018, the day before Thanksgiving. Now, that's not why today is special. No, no, boo boo. Today is special because I myself, for me at least, I myself am celebrating another year on this earth today is my birthday and i'm in reflection mode because i do have to look at the challenges that i've overcome i do get a chance and opportunity to say that i have made it and i'm blessed and fortunate to be where i am today and as you already know one of my main practices within my own morning ritual is finding a way to give back is to pay it forward and giving homage or paying homage to all my mentors and the valuable lessons that i've learned and the coaching lessons that I've learned that brought me to where I am today, I'm paying it forward by sharing it here at Sales Remastered. Not only for sales techniques, but also mindset development techniques because I myself have came through adversity. I've had to go through my own challenges, both internal and external. And I was one of the blessed few that that broke through and made it. And so I hope to give you the same lessons and same Uh, content that I was fortunate to have found and I say I found because I was looking for it and I feel that you're looking for it too and that's why you're here that's why we're connected in some way shape or form whatever media channel you're catching me on and I want to explain to you why it's special for you today also now if you go to um, you know if you've ever had a chance to actually go to my website sellsremaster.com and you download a copy of the free sales script that I'm sharing with you, what you notice is that you opted into my email group and now I'm emailing you from time to time. And so I shared with you earlier in in this morning, in this email, why it's gonna be special for you. But before I even get into that, let me go ahead and dive into the topic of today's video and today's episode. And you're gonna want to watch the video all the way through because at the very end, I'm gonna share with you my my experience with college and my own two cents on the education system and I know this is a common request because I get it a lot like hey man what are your thoughts on college should I go to college and and I'm gonna give you my two cents on that but before I do let me give you my experience on my journey coming up and so if you're in in the part of your journey where you're just starting out and what seems to be these hard challenges these impossible walls that you need to break through these these ever so high mountains that you feel like you're going to need to climb in order to reach that desired expectation or that desired destination that you have in your mind. And it seems like this kind of just this eternal battle that you're up against. I want you to rest assured that I was in that position too. And to to be where I'm at right now and to look back, I have the wisdom, I have the experience, and I have the know-how to know what to expect. So if you're just getting started and if you're just on your way to 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 get to where you're going, you're gonna wanna watch this video because I'm gonna share with you some helpful pieces to help you make it through. Let's go. What's up everybody, welcome back to Sales Remastered. My name is Daniel and I'm your host. And in this episode, as I mentioned, I wanna take you down memory lane. I wanna share with you my experience when I was just starting out, when I was just getting into my current hustle, my current industry, and the challenges that I experienced and how I viewed them at the time. You see, for those of you who've been following the channel already, I've shared tidbits, right? Little sneak previews of my background, where I came came from. And I want you to know that I'm no different than you. I'm no different than anyone else that you saw who had the same opportunities that we had. The only difference is that I identified the opportunities and I capitalized on them. And this is something that I had to I had to learn, not only the hard way, but I also learned from mentoring and coaching. So I've had the opportunity to get both. You see, I believe we have two vehicles. We have two vehicles to use to get us from point A to point B. Vehicle number one is what we all have by default. It's called trial and error. It's basically our time. You know, it's, it's, it's re- repetition, right? That's vehicle number one. And that's oddly enough, it's the most common vehicle that's used because everyone has it, right? Now, I want to share with you because technology has advanced in a way that we also now today have access to another vehicle. And that vehicle is mentoring. And why I think technology plays a huge role is because before, back in our day, back in my day coming up, 
the only way that we had access to mentoring was if we knew the person physically in person, right? Like, uh, unless you really drove out to go find these people. But back in my day, when I was coming up, I had to rely on coaches and mentors within my environment and people that I came across. And I think I honestly think I'm I'm blessed. You know, I, I think that that there are angels above that are looking out for me because they've protected me from harm. They've put me in in the situation and position where. I attracted um, success to be around me and I latched onto them. I had, I was fortunate to have the good insight to latch onto these mentors and these coaches. And I honestly believe that I wouldn't be where I, where I am today if I did not have these positive influences in my life. And so this is why, this is my why. This is why I do what I do and, and bring you in as part of my morning ritual. This is my way of giving back and paying it forward. And so anyway, during my climb, I had a lot of these challenges, a lot of these doubts that I had coming up because I wasn't like the people who I surrounded myself with. You see, I grew up in the streets and I grew up with bad influences. And I had this chip on my shoulder. Um, you know, some people call it rebel, being a rebel, right? Like I, I genuinely was a rebel. Like I didn't like authority. I didn't like, you know, uh, feeling like I didn't have control. Um, and I always felt like I, I, I had to figure things out on my own. And so for a long time in my life, I utilized the default vehicle of trial and error. And the problem with that was though, is that I, I blocked out a lot of the help that I could have had that could have saved me a bunch of time. It's kind of like, you know, have you ever saw somebody doing something the hard way and you're like, man, why are they doing it that way? <laughs> right? And, and you're like, dude, if you just did it this way, it'd be so much easier. Now it's kind of like that, but it's also kind of like if you told that person like, hey, this is an easy way to do it, but they're just keep telling you like, oh no, that's just not for me. And you're just kind of dumbfounded, right? Like. Like, why wouldn't they try the easiest way? Why wouldn't they just do it easier, right? And so I wanna share that with you and I wanna give you that analogy because I did have these, these influences at that time saying, hey man, here's an easy way to do it. Just do this, just do that. But me coming up and me kind of hardwiring myself to believe that I'm just, you know, no one's gonna take care of me but me because of the way I grew up. No one's gonna watch my back but me because of the way I grew up. I had this chip on my shoulder to think that, you know what, man, F everyone else, I'm gonna figure this out on my own. And not until I was fortunate enough to find someone who was like me, an older cat that reminded me of, uh, that basically reminded me of the people that I was used to. Um, his name is his name is Milton, and uh, he he took me under his wing at a very young age in my career. I was only about maybe 22 years old, and I just started. And the reason why I latched on to Milton was because Milton was a cool player, man. He dressed up in like those Steve Harvey suits, like the big, you know what I mean, like the big uh, <laughs> straight leg pants. Like he's just very smooth. Remind me of a pimp. And that's why probably why I think I liked them is because back in that day, you know, rap music was cool and, and, and being a pimp was like, you know, a cool thing to be. And anyway, he reminded me of these dudes, very clean cut, smell like cocoa butter and shit. Like he was just really down to earth. And he always, he took me under his wing because he said I reminded him of his nephews. And uh, because we both came from Long Beach, the way we dressed, the way we acted, he knew I, I was a little bit of in, on that thuggish side, on that thuggish mentality, that rebel with, you know, that rebel to all authority. And he saw that I was trying. He, he knew that I was just having a kid and I was trying to get my head right. And I was trying to get on this straight and narrow path so I could be the absolute best person that I can be for my, for my child. And he admired that. And so he took me under his wing and he communicated to me in a way that was unlike any type of coach or mentoring that was ever available at that time because they had this hidden agenda within them. You know, it's like anytime they give you advice, they wanted something in return. Anytime they would give you their time, they wanted something in return, whether it was money or for you to do a favor. Milton didn't want that. He just, he was very cool, collect. Milton did very well for himself because he was the, the probably the absolute best salesman that, in my opinion, that I've ever met in my life. 
and he was so smooth on the phone, the way he closed, the way he, he interacted with all levels of professionalism. Lower subordinates, he acted the same way with them. He acted the same way with maintenance, the lady that comes by and takes out your trash or the guy that comes by and takes out your trash. He treated them the exact same way he would treat the CEO. So there's a lot of integrity with Milton and I appreciated that, whereas other coaches and other you know executives didn't even give the time of day to people that they believe were their subordinates. So I really wanted to be like Milton. Anyway, Milton, you know, helped me overcome these challenges because these challenges that I had in my in my in my head was were things like, oh man, this is gonna take forever for me to get to Milton's level. It's gonna take forever and it's gonna cause a lot of time for me to become successful at what I was trying to become successful at because I was going through using that vehicle of uh, of trial and error. And so I knew no other way, right? And so what seemed to be devastating, what seemed to be like Mount Everest, what seemed to be a, a steel wall that I had to miraculously break through, it, it was all in my perception because I, I made myself believe that it was going to be hard to get to where they are. It, it was the only way that I could justify it. You see, our brains work in mysterious ways, but one thing that it does do is it, is it, is it tries to connect things and because it's logical, right? It's trying to figure out why is why. And so when I saw people making $25,000, $30,000, $50,000 a month, the only way I could justify it is that they had to go through years and years and years of torment, trial and error, repetition. And to some degree that is true. But at the end of the day, what, what I didn't realize was that if I could just learn from one of them, if I could just maybe get a sneak peek of their experience and their, of their um, ups and downs, right? Like what they went through in their input, then I can shorten that life cycle of years and years of trial and error to just months. And that's exactly what I was able to do with Milton. And you know, let me give you an idea. When I met Milton, I was just became, becoming a loan officer. Within six months of meeting Milton, not only did I make my first $10,000 a month, but I got promoted to become a sales manager. Not only that, but I got recognized as one of, one of the youngest sales managers. And within a year of meeting Milton, um, I was announced as one of the youngest top paid loan officers within an entire company. This is a, a, a countrywide organization called AmeriQuest. And they were one of the largest subprime lenders and I was the youngest paid, youngest highest paid loan officer within uh, that, that quarter within a year of meeting Milton. So I want you to understand the power of this because the, the information that I give here is very much like all the lessons that I've learned from Milton. You see, without Milton, I would have continued going down this path thinking that it's gonna be super hard, it's gonna be super tough. And I think there are a lot of individuals right now who are looking at their their path the same exact way. They're looking at it like, man, this is gonna take forever, or man, what if I fail? There's a lot of doubt. And the reason why there's a lot of doubt is because you don't have your own Milton. You don't have your own mentor telling you who's already been there. You see, typically what we rely on are people with biased opinions. We might be relying on our sales manager who of course is gonna tell us anything that we need to hear in order to put out 12 hours a day or put in that overtime or make that one extra call. We, we rely sometimes on VPs that of course are, are, are designed to help improve their, their um, their region, right, their department. So of course they are gonna tell us whatever we wanna hear. And very few times do we have the opportunity to find someone who can give us honest advice and honest, real genuine uh, mentoring that is going to help us get to the next levels that we aspire to reach. And I wanna become your Milton. I wanna become the person that, that you can rely on to help take you to where you, it is you wanna go. You see, I believe that the second vehicle besides trial and error is the vehicle that only the most successful use. And that vehicle is mentoring. That vehicle is having the right mindset, the right formula. And so in, in this episode, and the reason why it's special, and I'm gonna share with you in just a second why this video is special, but I want you to understand that wherever you are in your journey, if you're just beginning, it seems that it's hard right now. Just like when you first started riding a bike, it's like, damn, how do I get my balance, right? And there's times where you're gonna fall. But at the same time, if you keep practicing, you keep having the right kind of influence or the right kind of uh, example and role model, you're gonna learn, you're gonna learn faster. And when you learn, you're gonna get better and better and better at doing it. 
but there are certain techniques to ride bikes, aren't there? There, there are people like in X Games and <laughs> fucking, you know, these Mountain Dew sponsored bike people, Red Bull. You know, these people ride bikes in a in a completely different way. Now, that might not necessarily be your goal to ride a bike like that, but what I'm saying is that there's a lot of people that know how to ride bikes. A lot of people just know how to ride a bike. But if you really, really want to know how to use that bike to perform amazing things, then it, then you have to have the right influence. You have to have the right coach. You have to have the right trainers, right? Otherwise, you just hanging out with everyday Joes. They're not going to necessarily influence you to try to do these miraculous things with that vehicle. And so the same thing applies with mentoring. You know, um, uh, mentoring in itself, I believe, is not only easily accessible, but it's an absolute must if you're if you're going to try to avoid the multiple years of trial and error and and help you save some time in reaching your desired destination and here's your opportunity to get that vehicle stick around at the end of this video i'm going to tell you exactly why this video is special for you now last bonus piece on my thoughts on college i tried college in my opinion this is my opinion okay if you're in the middle of college take it in no way shape or form of me telling you to drop out i'm not telling you to give up i'm not telling you to not go to college i'm just giving you my input on college in my opinion i believe that in the next 10 15 20 years from now whatever skill set you're learning in college there's no guarantee that it's even going to be relevant there's no guarantee that you're going to have a job after going through those years of college the only guarantee that you're going to have is lost time and debt that's it that's the only guarantee you're going to have is lost time and debt the skill that you're practicing or the skill that you're studying in 10, 15 years could be obsolete. There could be AI, artificial intelligence, that completely wipes out that skill trade or replaces you. Make sense? One thing that I do know, though, is that sales has been around since the beginning. There will always be a need for human intelligence when it comes to sales because sales is an emotional translation. It's an emotional form of communication. This is the only reason why AI could never take over sales, right? People think that, oh man, the robots are going to take over sales. They're going to, soon there's not going to be any salesmen. No, 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 boo boo. In order to sell anything, especially high ticket costs, it has to be from a human. It, that's the only way because it takes a human to read certain emotions and to translate and react in certain emotions and to control certain emotions. So my opinion, I believe if you decide to stay in school, go to school or graduate school or drop out, bottom line is that the two most important skills, in my opinion, that will always be needed and not ever go or, or go out of style or become obsolete is sales and communication. I, ironically, they're the same thing. But in my opinion, if you can identify and hone in that craft, when I say sales and communication, I'm talking about sales like the ability to influence and persuade. When I say communication, I'm talking about the ability to market, capture attention, and use your skill of selling to persuade and influence that attention. Those two skills will never go out of style. Those two skills will unlock your future and your destiny. So that's my opinion on college. The only thing that it's going to guarantee you is debt and loss of time. I don't have a degree, so take my opinion however you like, but I'm doing well. I'm doing better than most college graduates that I know, right? Pretty much most, by most, I'm talking about all of them, bro, except those who maybe are at a, at a, uh, like a, a master's level, like they're, they're doctors. These people, you know, they're doing good. They're doing way better than me. But at the end of the day, like, are you about to become, are you going in health? Are you about to become like some brain surgeon, bro? Like, are you about to become some, some, uh, master surgeon, if you will. And even if you are, that means you're just going to become self-employed. So you need to market your own business. You need to market yourself so you can position yourself to get the most money. So that's my two cents on college. And I hope it helps you. And I hope it helps you save some time and some money. Now, here's why today's special for you. So I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. I hope you really enjoyed the content, not only in this episode, but the content that I bring all throughout my channel and that I have been bringing over the last couple years. Now, here's the reason why this video is special for you, because if you've watched it all the way through, I'm giving you special access to a holiday special that I'm giving right now for not only my birthday and my way of celebrating Thanksgiving and giving thanks to everyone who supported the channel, but I want you to give thanks to your own self today. Give yourself an opportunity to, to, 
to own the vehicle that has taken me to the heights that I live today, that has enabled me to be as consistent, as successful, as powerful within my niche that ha as I am today. And I want you, like countless others, to use this same vehicle to help you get there too. I want you to experience the finer things of life. I want you to experience what it's like to be where you desire to be and to know that you could do it over and over and over again. It's like you know the cheat code to this game and it feels so powerful to have that cheat code. There's there's no more worries of will I ever be employed or there's no more worries of if I can get a job or there's no more worries if I can make this much income or if I'm going to survive through these holidays or through any disruption within the market. I want you to own that vehicle to drive you straight to the top and now is your special opportunity. For four installments of $199, you're going to get access to the formula. These installments are spread out 30 days apart. They're one month apart, okay? So don't worry. It's not going to happen every day. It's four easy installments of $199 and you get to own the vehicle. Not only that, but you're going to have four or direct one-on-one -on -one mentoring coaching calls with me and you alone. I'm going to specifically help you and adapt these teachings and these techniques to your exact platform. However you receive your leads, however you close your loans, whatever support you kind of you get, whether you're inbound, outbound, inside, outside, retail, non-retail, wholesale, call center, whatever platform you have, I'm going to tailor and make it complete tailor fit to you and your exact platform. You're going to get four 60-minute one-on-one mentoring sessions, just me and you, on how I can help you get to that next level and multiply your income. Here's your opportunity. Over, overthinking kills happiness, so don't overthink it. Take take the chance right now and do this, do this for yourself. There's a 30-day risk-free money-back guarantee with this offer, but you got to click the link below. It's going to say, holiday special hbd holiday special for happy birthday <laughs> holiday special and today again is my birthday so i wish you wish you and your family the best in spending your time with them this holiday season but more importantly i hope that you do take the initiative to take control of your destiny click the link below and get yourself into the course get yourself the four one-on-one -on -one direct mentoring calls with me so you can figure out the cheat code to this game and make sure that 2019 starts off right and is becomes your most powerful year this is your opportunity what are you gonna do yeah